What's the one horror movie that genuinely terrified you while watching it? When I was little, my father would fall asleep on the sofa and leave TNT or AMC on and they would show horror movies. I was maybe four or five and watched Nightmare on Elm Street. The scene where young Johnny Depp got pulled through a bed gave me nightmares for weeks. This exact situation but with the original Exorcist. And I was a year older. My dad was a heavy sleeper, and I just sat there, completely paralyzed, on the other side of the room. This exact situation, except my dad was watching it and just had no problem with me joining him. It was the last time I was scared by a movie. Not startled or disturbed, those still happen fairly frequently. But truly terrified? Yeah. Seven years old, original Exorcist. I was around the same age when I watched it. Also terrified me. And just in case I wasn't scared enough, my asshole older sister hid under my bed that night and started shaking it when I tried to go to sleep. Wreck is an amazing Spanish found footage zombie movie. It starts slowly with a documentary film crew following a team of firefighters, but once it kicks into high gear it becomes a relentless, claustrophobic, violent hell ride. I have a friend who is a bit zonked. He told me once when we were talking about movies, that he came home from work, watched a TV channel where usually documentaries and such are played. He sat down, made food and started to watch a documentary about a reporter who wanted to show the day in the life of firefighters in Spain. All was good and fine until the one scene with the grandma that started to bite. He was like him this could be normal, she is old and confused maybe she fell etc. He works as a medic BTW. Then it all started to escalate and he slowly realized that he was not watching a documentary and was watching the horror movie Wreck. He didn't knew that movie, now he did. That's the absolute purest way to watch the movie. I love stuff like that. Same thing happened to me with Cloverfield. Mediocre movie emo but I caught E minutes after it began and I thought it was a drama movie about a party but all in found footage style. Loved the idea and sat down to watch it. Then the explosions and the action began. I was awestruck. Another awesome movie to watch in the blind like this is Coherence. Don't read anything, just watch it. The Thing, 82. Was a kid when I saw it, scared the living daylights out of me. Good special effects for its time. Whenever I tell people who haven't seen The Thing about my childhood experience with it, I explain it like this, you know how sometimes you see a movie as a kid and it scares the crap out of you, but then you watch it as an adult and realize oh, it wasn't that bad. I was just a dumb kid. The Thing is not that. Watching it as an adult validated my reaction to it as a kid and made me really question what the duck my parents were thinking me letting me watch it. I've watched a lot of horror movies as a kid and as an adult. I've seen the thing so many times. I know that movie by heart. And yet it still works. It stills makes my skin crawl. It still hits me in primordial parts of my brain that make instinctively feel fear. My heart rate preemptively spikes whenever I start to get near the defibrillator scene. Sinister. The soundtrack makes you feel super uneasy. Plus that lawnmower scene was a feeling a horror movie has never done to me before. This one sticks with me for weeks each time that I watch it. Genuinely disturbing film. And the fact that you're watching it through the very medium through which the demon operates doesn't help either. When I was about 11 I watched The Ring. I couldn't sleep for like two weeks. The movie itself was scary but I had the DVD, and you could watch the tape on its own. That scared the shit out of me. I watched the tape on the DVD to prove to my sisters that it was fake and dumb and I was brave. I was absolutely terrified for a week. Did you die? He dead. This is the sequel to Rings, the tape is uploaded to Reddit and anybody who comments dies. So I shouldn't comment then, right? I was 19 when the others came out and manager at a tiny, old movie theater. We had to build the movies upstairs in the projection booth then watch them to make sure they turned out okay. Imagine being a young female and watching that movie with only one other girl in a really old building. I was terrified when it started brain wrapping right at the jump scare and we had to go stop it and reset. I ended up calling my boyfriend to come down and sit with us. I honestly didn't expect someone else to post the others. It terrified me when I was little. The Strangers I was very glad I watched it in my one-bedroom apartment on the second floor, 
where there was essentially only one way into my apartment. I could not watch it in my house today, with multiple access points. Because you were home is such a ducked up thing to hear in that movie. Alien, when I first watched it I had nightmares for weeks, I even had one of those nightmares where you wake up but still dreaming, when that happened to me I had a xenomorph in my ducking face with both mouths open dripping saliva all over me. I woke up to my dad shaking me awake covered in sweat genuinely thinking it really happened, nowadays I think back while watching the Alien films and laugh about it, but that film messed with me at it, just one word and holy shit this blew up, who know one of my top comments is about me watching a horror film and having a nightmare. It didn't really terrify me but the movie Room 1408 did make me super uncomfortable and it was great. Like it's not the best movie ever but watching the main character slowly go insane was awesome. Really great movie. Event Horizon 1997 now it's just funny. I just love how after watching the old cruise log the guy goes we're leaving. Duck this ship. It makes it terrifying because that's exactly what an average person would say in real life. Kind of relevant. In the video game Outlast during the beginning there's a spec ops guy impaled on a pole, with his last breath he says you gotta get the fuck out of this terrible place. The no bullshit simple expression from a guy trained for that stuff makes it so terrifying. Fire in the sky. Sweet Jesus. The thought of that film, 26 years later. My older brother thought it would be a good scary movie to watch with his sci-fi loving little brother, and that we could get into it. This film psychologically scarred me. Duck. I looked up the trailer just now and even though that mess is still with me. Here you go, friend, you two dot B. I've always thought that alien abduction and experimentation experiences were really repressed memories from when people were born. A newborn baby has very poor eyesight, and a lot of the experiments supposedly done to abductees resemble the sort of things done to infants, especially before more advanced, less invasive medical devices were being used. That's one I haven't heard. Usually, it's sleep paralysis or childhood sexual abuse. The fourth kind. Was just a kid and had no idea whether it was real or not because of all the documentary footage. Honestly the only one that had me genuinely scared ever. I remember this scaring the shit out of me when I was younger and I'm haven't even really willing to watch any alien type movie since. The true story aspect also got me. The Shining has a special disturbing element to it that has never fully let me go. Even though I've probably watched it upwards of 30 times, it still makes me feel just as on edge as the first time I watched it. Edit, A my first silver. Thanks bro. When I was in my early teens, my mom and sisters worked at a convenience store, and would bring home convenience store food and rental movies pretty regularly. One time my sister was supposed to throw out a whole bunch of chopped chicken that was past the expiration date, but instead she brought it home thinking she could make it into something instead of wasting it. She also brought home The Shining. So that day, a few hours after eating a meal prepared with expired chicken, I watched The Shining for the first time. And as the movie progressed I felt this overwhelming feeling of unease creeping over me that I attributed to the movie. It wasn't until a few hours later that I realized I was sick from eating expired chicken. But man, you haven't seen The Shining until you've seen it with a developing case of food poisoning. This seems like the twisted, ducked up version of dropping acid for a festival amount. The Descent I just want to say, I'm very claustrophobic and I watched this in the middle of the night. Duck that movie so much. The scene where they are caught in the little tunnel before the rock slide. Mother. Of. God. I feel my heart in my throat every time. Signs. It's not even objectively that scary but ducking hell did it scare the shit out of me. I still can't bring myself to watch it or I'll be paranoid going around every corner of the apartment when it's dark. That birthday party scene, though. Edit, thanks for my first silver ever, my fragapenophobic fellow. It's not even that bit that scares me, it's the stupid bit where they get into the attic. The part where the dog is barking then suddenly stops got me as a kid. Heck, a lot of parts got me. Ha ha.